Hello my dear friends, welcome, thank you so very much for stopping by, thank you for watching my channel Ivana Tero. This is bi-weekly astrology and tarot reading for Zodiac sign Aries, for both men and women all over the world, born under this sign. Guys, the next two weeks are going to be very special, like never ever before. Why? Well, I will explain you, so be, be patient. So, we are entering into a historic period of not only your life, but life on um, of humanity. And I will talk about that. So, um, May 14th until 28th of May 2018. So, I will talk through the eyes of astrology in terror for the next two weeks. Okay, if you are new on my YouTube channel, guys, don't be lazy. Watch as well, prediction for a moon sign and for rising sun. And only then you will have like, you know, complete, you know, story of what might happen in your life. Okay, so let me start with, you know, uh, without further, you know, adieu. Okay, new moon, new moon, guys, in a sign of Taurus. This will happen May 15th. And this is not all. On exact same day, Uranus will change sign from being in your sign of Aries, entering finally into the sign of Taurus. Guys, 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 listen to me. Uh, so this is happening in your second house of your money. Okay, so this is big, I mean, not big, the biggest change, revolutionary, you know, change on a mundane level when it comes to money and how you earn your money and how you are dealing with your, with your, with the real estates of any kind of property that you have. I don't know, maybe you work, uh, maybe you live on, um, on a country, um, maybe, maybe you are in a agriculture type of, uh, you know, job. So now you need to invest, you know, some money, uh, to technology, you know, uh, maybe for some of you who work in, um, in a modern city of anywhere on the world, this is you, uh, inquiring about what is cryptocurrency. Uh, maybe you will buy some new gadget. Okay. This is, this is like the very first sneak peek. But this Uranus, planet Uranus, will stay like a seven years in a seven house. Seven years, guys, you know. So, in the next seven years, the way how you earn money will be completely changed. You even cannot imagine, you know, what is approaching to humanity, generally speaking. But you know, you do not, not, you do not need to be afraid of anything at all. Because lately, most likely you saw inside of you, that you are kind of, you know, you feel this, you know, boredom of some kind. So don't you worry about that, you know, excitement of so many things are, are coming uh, from the 15th of May 2018. <laughs> okay, so where is your ruler Mars? 16th of May, Mars will enter into the sign of Aquarius and Aquarius is... Um, a sign placed in your 11th house of your friends, but this is not all, honey. This is also house of your ex-lover. So, your lover, lover boy, lover boy is, guess what, coming back. Okay, I can see in your 11th house, not only Mars as your ruler, he will be in a conjunction, but by the end of May, uh, with um, south node of the moon in the very same Aquarius zodiac sign. And this is not all. I can see asteroid Achilles in the retrograde motion. Okay, so what is that all together? Okay, now pay attention. Now, there is a person in your life um, who is like a weak spot, like a weak... Um, okay, how can I how can I explain that on English? Okay, every single time, no matter how this person, your ex, is uh, treating you, you always can and will um, forget this person. Like everything, you know, he can cheat on you. He can be like this or that, uh, being rude or being unpolite or being forgettable or anything. You know, you are always ready to forgive to this person. So, I don't know, excuse me, you know, for my English, you know, um, sometimes I, I lack uh, English you know, words so I can describe, you know, what I can see. But hopefully you will understand basically what I want to say, you know. 
So uh, where is and what is Achilles, you know, this weak, weak spot, weak place inside of your heart? Who is this? Who is that? You know, this could be situation, this could be group of people, but most likely this is your ex. So this is test for you and also this is test for your ex lover lover boy you know and something of that kind will happen maybe you need a closure maybe you need to understand something you know about this person but this person also could be very important for your financial life you know so something some something of that kind most likely will happen to you maybe you will have urge to help him or her maybe this person will help you as well maybe you will meet you know someone who is like exact same like your ex and maybe you'll fall in love because you know this person will remind you of your ex also i can see mercury in your second house so close to asteroid union so this is you maybe talking with taurus aquarius uh could be scorpio could be could be aries could be also gemini or, or virgo a zodiac sign could be woman could be man with this person maybe you will start completely new job like out of the blue you know like a genius you know type of idea saying i want to be free i want to be free also saturn is still in a 10 house you know warning you okay change job but you know put in front of you like a real um uh cause no not cause but the real uh real real goal okay real goal okay but proceed with your plan uranus is also um a planet which is talking about freedom so simply you want to be free when it comes to earning your money you simply want to be free okay moon uh, by the end of this uh, month will be in a conjunction with uh, jupiter and asteroid psyche uh, lots of um uh, questions a uh, lots of um unknown a uh, lots of pain will come to surface and um, now you need to have some answers you either this is you asking your lover or your husband or current or ex or or completely new love partner you simply you simply need to hear you know uh, do you love me or you don't love me can i count on you or can i ca cannot count on you are you going to stay in my life this time for good or you tend you know to play you know with me a little bit more so simply simply you you will ask you know so many questions and you need a lot of answer but not only you this also could be your ex asking you a lot of questions so this person this time is going to be very uh, persuasive very very per se persuasive and uh, one thing more mars will stay in your 11th house for many many months like for five months you see uh, because soon mars will start with the retrograded motion okay this will happen 26th of june but you know still you know mars will will stay in this 11th house of yours until the end of august so this is your ex uh, lover or this is your ex husband or maybe this is your like ex um uh, friend also could be friend female or male okay uh, may 19th venus will enter in the sign of cancer and sign of cancer is basically a fourth house now you can you can you can change something inside of your home you will feel that you want to stay inside of your house so much more than before maybe you will start business from your house which is beautiful and if you are um, if you are um, um, if you are in love already or maybe you will uh, maybe you will fall in love if you're now single uh, this is you saying i do not want to go out i want to stay with my partner i simply want to stay inside of my house uh, may 20th sun will enter the sign of gemini and gemini is in your third house sun will be there and uh, this is good for short trips this is very very good time to be completely open and especially to your friends brothers and sisters because your brother or sister sister will come uh, brother or sister will visit you but also this could be your friend you know listen carefully what this person have to say to you because with this person most likely you can start new business 
Uh, okay, um, basically this is all, you know, uh, 29th of May, but I will talk that next time. We will have like a new moon in a sign of, German, um, in a sign of uh, Sagittarius, and this will happen in your ninth house. This is struggle, you know, inside of you. You are kind of, you do not want to understand something about uh, either money or something that uh, maybe you, are, you will be like uh, afraid of something and this is your partner trying to explain something but also quite very easily this could be your ex trying to explain you something but I can see you um, giving like a big um, 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 resist you you try to not to resist reject okay you will try you will try to reject you know something you do not want to understand something maybe this is your ex you know trying to explain that to you uh you know please forgive me try to understand and this is you saying no i do not want to talk about you or but this will happen this will happen basically in june now you need to now you need to talk with this with this person who is entering into your life where uh, whether this is your ex or whether this is completely new love partner because this person will have like a big role uh, in the next couple of months maybe even in the next couple of years but only if you allow this person to stay in your life let me just remind you north north of the moon is still in a fear house in a sign of leo um, try not to reject this person who will try to enter into your life, okay? Because now you have a Chiron and a Juno and Asterid, Vulcano, and, you know, this is so many, and, and Diana, Asterid. So basically now you want to have your freedom. Now you, now you, now you want to be like a woman who run with the wolves, you know, and so you will, you will understand, you will see that you will intimidate so many uh, current ex or completely new love partner in your life. All I'm saying, try not to do that because you want to be with someone, but everything in your aura is kind of, you know, almost, you know, screaming, like, leave me alone. All I'm saying, don't do that. Okay. Simply don't do that. So now you can fall in love either with your ex. Uh, also, I can see Scorpio. I can see a cancer, I can see a sage, I can see especially Gemini or Leo, someone will be very interested into you. Oh my god, I'm talking 12 minutes already. Oh, I need to cut that, you know, this is, this, this is, this is too long, you know, next time I will talk on like six minutes, you know. Uh, okay, so what we have in here, Princess of Discs, Major Arcana, the Eon, uh, Ace of Swords, uh, Five of uh, Wands, and Nine of uh, Cups. Okay, okay, guys, listen to me. Those those two tarot cards are talking about your ex, whether you like that or not. You know, I don't care. I mean, I need to explain. Uh, you know uh, exactly what I can see. So this could be Capricorn, could be Taurus, could be Virgo. Someone think about you every single day. This person want you back. This person will call you, but this person is. Uh, is uh, afraid of you how you are going to react can you see strife fear you know what you are going to say you know are you going to dismiss this person are you going to shout are you going to be like a typical Aries woman or man or maybe you will or maybe you will have this um, sense of you know understanding so what I what I can see now your ex most likely this is your ex you know uh, this person will try to to, to explain, you know, like what happened like five months ago when you break up with this person or maybe five years ago and whatever. No? So this person now, little by little, is maturing. So uh, try to understand, you know, like back then, and you know that this person was simply immature. Maybe this is you. Maybe you was like an immature, you know. Maybe this is your ex trying to, to say that to you. You know, don't be mad at me. Both you and me, we know, like, you know, back then, maybe this maybe this happened 20 years ago. But this person was saying, oh, don't be mad at me because, you know, we are both uh, guilty equally, you know, for what happened like five months or five years or maybe 10 years or 20 years ago. No, we are both guilty. You know? So please, you know, don't shout, you know, at me. Yes, I want you back. Like, you no, know, you are single. I'm single, you know, so please. Please, you know, give me another chance. You know, all I'm saying, give me another chance. Now, look at the outcome tarot card. Nine of cups. Happiness. All I'm saying. This is new beginning. 
This is completely changing your course, completely changing your life due to this entering to this person in your life if you're, of course, single. And this is a five of wands. This is struggle, but struggle is only inside of you. All I'm saying, give him a chance. If you're already attached, no. Um, you have a plan and most likely your current partner will say, no, I don't like this plan. Could be uh, involving family or children or investing money or changing your house or, you know, whatever. So this is your spouse saying, we need to save our money. No, I do not want to do that. But this is you saying, yeah, but I have a, such a beautiful plan. You never listen to me or whatever. Once again, arguments, but I can see. Both you will find some some kind of you know middle middle ground of understanding. Do that because you will be happy only if you if you are ready to, to communicate with your current partner. So communicate. Also, I can see for your partner some problems. This is connected with his job. Uh, try to have understanding for your current love partner. Because he is going through a biggest, maybe biggest change of his career life. So you need to be like a big, biggest support to him. And of course, vice versa. Okay, guys, this is your uh, bi-weekly astrology and tarot reading. Book a private reading with me if you want to hear your story. In the meantime, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like and share this video with your friends. God bless you all. Take care.